I already asked her. I'm going to run through these uh, this, these two problems you asked, or three problems, I guess. Number F from day three. First thing I want to do when I have two radicals like this is see if I can't simplify. So I'm going to make this into one big radical to start with. I'm just going to sort of recombine them into one. And that's going to allow me, let's see, maybe this is one big one. And then I'm going to simplify that down so the 7 and the 5 don't change. But I can do x squared, 5, y squared. So I'm just able to cancel that. Then I'm going to go back and separate them again. Okay, you can do that without actually doing all this work. You can just sort of separate them in your head like that. Okay. Now I need to rationalize the denominator, which means at the end of the day, I want the denominator to be 5y, which means when I multiply it by something, this step here should equal the fourth root of 5 to the fourth, y to the fourth. I don't know why that 4 looks different. Sorry, Oscar. Okay. So what do I multiply the 4th root of 5y squared by? Well, I've got to, to get it to be this, I've got to multiply it by 5 to the 3rd. And I've got to multiply y squared to get to be y to the 4th. I have to multiply that by y squared. So that's what I'm going to do. So the 5 to the 3rd, I'm going to write as 125 up here, just because I'm going to multiply it later, y squared. Okay, and that's going to give me 7 times that, 875, x squared, y squared, and the fourth root of that. Okay, so knowing what my end goal is, as long as if, if it's anything less than the fourth power here, because I have the fourth root, um, I'm just going to try to make it a single variable y. If you tried to make it y squared, you could, but ultimately you're going to end up reducing that out. Okay, so that should be your final answer here. Um, that should be what, you, what we're looking to do. Okay, now the next one, if I have these right, these. Now when I have two different bases and I have different index indices, the index for each of these is different. This is a four and this is a two. I don't really know what to do, but I'm trying to simplify this. So what I do is I rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite this as eight to the one fourth times two to the one half. And again, nothing really great happens here. I can't combine these exponents because my properties of exponents say if I have uh, if I have to have the same base in order to multiply powers together. But I can get the same base because I can change 2, or excuse me, I can change 8. I'm going to make 8 2 cubed to the 1 fourth times 2 to the 1 half. Now I'm, I'm getting somewhere. So now I got 2 to the 3 fourths times 2 to the 1 half. So now I same base, the base stays the same, and I add the exponents. 3 fourths plus 1 half is 5 fourths. And I can rewrite that as the fourth root of 2 to the fifth, and then I can simplify that out to 2, fourth root of 2. And again, I started as a radical. I want to finish as a radical. Okay, and this guy make a little line in the sand here. Again, I have different bases, but once I see that I got 5 and 125, I know that I can change that 125 to um, to 5 cubed. So let's sort of same process, maybe a slightly different order. So the fifth root, now I'm going to say this is 5 to the 1 sixth, right? This is 5 to the 1 sixth. And now I'm going to call this 5 to the third the square root of that, so 5 to the 3 halves. So 125 is 5 cubed, and so 5 to the 3 halves. 
Okay. Now you can you can combine in any order you like. And then that's to the one fifth power. So I'm going to do this five to the one thirtieth. Distribute the one fifth to the powers, the power of power property. And three halves times one fifth is three tenths. Add those together, and I should get five to the ten thirtieths, which is five to the one third, which is the third root of five. Okay. So there's any step, but the real key here for these problems is to get the base to be the same, because then I can apply my properties of exponents. Let me know if you have another question. Have a good day.